met a gypsy. So, uh, yeah, to, to go a bit deeper into Jet, I completely agree. I think yeah. that I said the other day that, you know, you look at, like, people criticize him saying the field was depleted and it was the weakest 450 field ever. And I disagree. I think that when you've got Sexton there that was there last year pushing Tomac to his absolute limit and that same guy's there and he's beating the same guys by the same margins yeah, as the year know, before. What do, you, what do you mean? The only person the only person that was missing that could have been a problem is Eli. Yeah. Everybody else was not even... Not even, not even you, relevant. Everybody should be sending thank you cards to Chase. <laughs> or this would be the dumbest thing you ever can ever see. In, you'll never see anybody ever win again. Yeah. You won't. You won't. Plessinger will never beat uh sex or um jet straight up no way can't can't <laughs> yeah so you know it's it's it, it's the writings on the wall and it's not that the field was depleted he just you know when it'd be different the field is depleted and he barely won no he went 22 and you know 22 and 0 yeah there was no mistake about that eli's never done that sexton's never done that you know what i mean and everybody else didn't even just decided they're getting seconds and thirds and fourths yeah Right, it was yeah. like racing against James Stewart again on one two five. Yeah, just why? Just get second, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> and like, do you remember your like the the way you felt as a rookie in the four fifty class? Like, could you imagine like put yourself in your rookie year now, mm -hmm. and then imagine going twenty four and zero in your rookie year? Yeah, I mean, it would be it'd be hard it'd be hard not to walk around with just straight wood all the time you know what i mean <laughs> but like, what dude would, can you put that thing away yeah how i just went 24 no <laughs> i don't need to really <laughs> yeah yeah go around it yeah, yeah go around it or you can hop over it <laughs> yeah. if you want to get on it and take a ride you can but you know <laughs> it's so true <laughs> it's that fucking big but like what 24 no what would have you had to do you know what i mean like to go 24 no in your oh, rookie jesus year. like it, it's, it, it's, is it be, even possible i don't in your think mind? It, i don't think it's impossible mcgrath you know mcgrath emig LaRocco, Larry Ward, Kadrowski, you know, uh, I mean, you know, just, just, I mean, Jesus, I mean, there's a lot of guys, you know, that era had a lot, there's Stanton, I mean, there was a lot of guys in that era, 90 era, yeah. right, guys retiring and guys coming in, Yeah. <clears throat> so, so, but imagine, so imagine you're six motos in to your yeah. rookie 450 career, yeah, and you're perfect, yeah. How do you even carry that weight? Yeah. I like, guess I guess you just, on every level. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, and again it was there was never even a bobble. You're not even a wheel out of place and then a lot of races. And so and then he went past people like they he was on a different track and it was just because of the way he's riding. Mm. <clears throat> so, um yeah. And, you know, but things can change too. Things yeah. can change now, more pressure. Yeah. Now people are going to learn and more of bring a it microscope. up. More of a microscope, yeah. He, Not now, you know, because the first year, just get your feet wet. Same with Deegan, you know. Let's see yeah. how you handle sophomore year that you're expected to win because mm. sometimes that has a change. I don't think it will with both these kids, but you never know until you see it. Or even just one injury. One mm. nagging fucking injury that takes a while to heal. Yeah. And one nagging injury that kind of never goes away because it's nagging. Now you've just diminished yourself. You know what I'm saying? So mm. this this can happen very easy. So don't just think that uh, writing's on the wall. The writing's on the wall to be the most amazing rider we've seen. But this is also motocross, you know? Yeah. So. And so in the two years since we last did this, yeah. Has any of your philosophies around technique or anything changed? Is that, or are you pretty like sort of solid in the belief system that you have around? Yeah, I don't the think sport? I don't think you can again a motorcycle. How are you going to change a motorcycle? Mm. The way it's been designed is the way it's been designed. The mechanics of it, the the dynamics of it, the front wheel, engine, rear wheel, handlebars have always been in the same place. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, it's changed through you know, evolution, but you're never changing the body at where it's the best. So again, if a motorcycle, you can't change this dynamics to make it work and feel like a motorcycle, then you're never going to change something that has been intelligently designed the human body and, and say that it's going to work better. You know what I mean? So for me, the technique that you're seeing now, the toes, the hips, the back, the this, you're not, you're not going to make anything better mm. because that's where the body's at the strongest. It's not, Oh, this is Rhino's technique. 
so we can change yeah, this it. This is mechanics. No, this is just as this is mechanics, man. Yeah, this is yeah, this is yeah, physics. Yeah. This is bike and machine. Or I mean, bike and you know, body and machine that you can't you can't change. You can't you know, mechanics are mechanics, you mm-hmm. know. And so, with that, I, I don't think you're going to see anything change. You know, maybe Jed has brought a little bit of a of a softness to it you know what i mean but the bases are still the same he's on his toes his hips are out maybe his legs are a little bit straighter you know what i mean his arms are a little bit straighter comes back away from the motorcycles a little bit uh stuff like that but um you're not gonna yeah you're not gonna see someone what are you gonna do what, what else is there drop your arms bu- tuck your butt round your back no yeah that, that you, you can't do that in motocross if anybody's doing that in motocross you might as well just quit because you're never going to get anywhere yeah and that's the problem you see you see Cincerello tuck, you see Anderson tuck hunt, you see Plessinger tuck and hunt, and what what are those guys always doing? Yeah, they move they move on the motorcycle four times more than or ten times more than uh, Sexton and Jet do. Yeah, off every jump, there's almost two to three movements where Jet and Sexton's one movement, boom. Yeah, boom. Yeah, boom. One movement, hips out, pop, pop, pop. These guys are back over to the side, elbow down, and then they come over. Yeah. You know, what I mean, it's ways they're just so floppy, sloppy, you know, that they can't keep because anytime that you're coming over to the side, you're going to be off the throttle teeny bit or pulling the clutch in, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. if you're always directed in the line that you want, the direction you want, well, then you can be aggressive. You can, you're getting traction. You're having, you're having to, you're able to relax. But if I'm always doing this, well, then if I counterbalance the motorcycle, what am I doing? I'm tightening up. Yeah. So I don't go any farther. Yeah. And then I'm tightening up to bring myself back over. But if I'm just right in the middle, well, I can just let this happen, you know. Bike goes to me and away from me, to me and away from me. That's what you see more of Jet and Sexton and Hunter. Yeah, you know that 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 scenario. We are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, GypsyTales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.